land of Valisthea is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. But it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. Straight into the action. Triangles the fireball. Our ones evade. Oh, tried to evade there. Guess we Phoenix. soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else? Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Get this done. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission to success. Yes, sir. I said focus, Wyvern. You can move the camera.
press options at any time outside a cutscene to open the main menu. Gameplay configuration settings including camera inversion can be adjusted. So let me just check that. Yeah. Main menu subsystem. Options on the system tab include wireless controller configuration as well as video, audio, accessibility and language settings. We've got save load, tutorial messages, right, gameplay, camera. Yeah. We don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. Okay, well we go on, don't worry. We're coming. Where we need to be. Just in time. And you have his majesty's answer. You summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides, your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights will only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the wall. Which, judge. 
dust leaves me. Kupka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. the hair, or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta, but I will need someone to warm me when I come home. are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Okay, so we're in motion again. So that tells us that we can climb certain areas. by the looks of it.
much say it was half ah, supposed to do something there. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's get out the way. Chocolate there. Yeah. Looks like it. Comrade just got squished by a massive fallen boulder. I told you before, you do not get to die here. Oh, this must be in the past. 13 summers earlier. Is this combat tutorial? Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Attack the Lord Commander. Execute a four queen swing combo. Square to perform a melee attack. Up to four attacks can be chained together. serve you well in the field, but can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you, now let them burn without. Come Clive, rain fire down upon me. Right, channel your inner flame. Land a fire spell five times, triangle to cast fire. Okay. just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. 
Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Stay quick on your feet. Evade four times. R1 to evade an enemy's attack. And um, precision dodging. Evade an attack at the precise moment um, it is dealt will temporarily slow the enemy, making it more susceptible to counter. Okay. Good. Move only when you must. Was I not clear as to the purpose of this exercise? Yeah. Good. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on you. Well, I'm waiting. Execute a Phoenix shift three times. Iconic feats. The blessing of the Phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix shift is one such iconic feat. Press circle to swiftly close in on a distant target. And both melee and range attacks magic can be used while executing. Fly at your foe before he can raise his gun. Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cups as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Well, that won't do at all. Mend your wounds. Use potions to fully restore HP. Consumables. Consumable items such as potions and tonics can be used to restore Clive's HP or temporarily boost attributes. Item shortcuts. Consumables can be assigned to up, right, down via the items tab in the main menu for quick and convenient use. These items can also be used directly from the menu. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least, ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You want to kick a man while he's drowned? I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rostil. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. How that be, boy. Make proof of your strength. Defeat the Lord Commander, breaking an opponent's will. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back. Break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they are vulnerable. Go on. Come on then.
Staggering our enemies. Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as you can before he regains his senses. Use R2 and Square to execute Rising Flames, a powerful iconic ability granted by Clive by the blessing of the Phoenix. So R2 and Square... There we go. We got him. I quite like the combat, to be honest. Flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned. Father's back. <laughs> such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, your grace. We live to serve. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, mother. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Lord Murdoch. Your Grace. got a feeling that um, the main so character is an illegitimate child for some reason. No, it's not his fault. Not everyone can be born a phoenix. We should join them. Got that vibe from her. And she favoured Joshua over Clive.
friends. Welcome home, Father. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, Father. Much better. Today, June and I went to the bay to watch Clive spa. Is that so? Make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We'll talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. Hmm. Shields dismissed! off to see the Archduke. Right. Sunrise, sunset. Finding your way. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold down L3 and trust in your animal instinct to point you in the right direction. Your current destination will be displayed with a red exclamation mark. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. Make sure all the crystals are out. Forgive me, my lord, but I need to finish inspecting these crystals. We will do to give our soldiers spent shards. So make for the throne room. Seems to be like a big class divide. Slavery. That sort of goings on. Doesn't quite sit right with me. I think Clive is um, benevolent and he just wants everybody to treat, be treated equally by the sound of it. But anyway, let's continue. Now, there was some. Yeah, this. What's this? I think someone's hungry. 
Slave Master. I'm having my bearer filled with weapons. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? Okay. Don't like the fact that we've got slave masters, to be honest. Think if I was some, think if I was some sort of um, king, that I would like to think that people would be treated a little bit more um, fairly than that. Well, let's see because we've got this over here. What are you doing? Obviously gardening. Using his power for tending to bits and bobs like that. See what that is over there. Finding items. Useful items can be found across the realm by those who know where to look. Items discovered can be viewed on the items tab in the main menu. It's a portion. Yay. Let's head to where we're supposed to be going. That child is the future of our nation. He must be protected. All other concerns are insignificant. Making an effort. Some large gates and stiff levers require extra effort to operate. Use X to access them, then hold R2 to push or pull with all your might. Every nook and cranny. <laughs> Good luck. My presence, your grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. The mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. Are you afraid? Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those slaying the dead ones. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors. As tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good.
I will do my duty, Your Grace. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. Active time law. Hold the touchpad to access the active time law feature, a compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. Active time law can even be viewed during most cutscenes. Can be accessed late. All ATL entries can be accessed later in the game. So the grand duty of Rosaria, Elwyn Rosefield, the Iron Kingdom, the Mother Crystals. So let's um current location. Situated in the heart of the Ducal capital of Rosalith, it is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation. An architectural feat the founder himself would be proud of. The castle has stood since the early days of the duchy and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. The Grand Duchy of Rosaria a nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm. With Rosalith as its capital, Rosaria was originally formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rosefield. Not, possess not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's Breath, which lies still further to the west in the midst of the boiling sea. Elwyn Rosefield Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua, loved by his people for his steadfast leadership both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. We've got the Mother Crystals. Enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Valisthea. They are the source of the crystals that the people of the twins rely on in their everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with aether, making the magics the crystal cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. And the Iron Kingdom... Also known in the local tongue as Hereran, the Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital at Greg Lost Gete. Sorry about the uh, murdering of the words. The mother crystal, Drake's Breath, rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask and has been the subject of long-standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighbouring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward-looking culture. OK, well, let's have a little look around. Can we take a look around here? Is this where we were supposed to go? Oh well, if not, we're having a look anyway. No messages, my lord. Retire to your chamber. So this must be our chamber. Well, let's uh, open and have a look. Joshua. Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. 
Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apodotry, so yes, I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the Phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, he's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. I guess that's why she doesn't like him. Because he was rejected by the Phoenix. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son. And you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. would be the last. But it never really ends, does it?
Yeah. I won't be hunting today. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. And these are your two luckies. We're ready to depart, my lord. May I say what an honour it is to serve alongside you. This is to be no mere investigation. There are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. So wait, Sir Tyler. Let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. To the marshes, then. Blessing of the crystals go with us. So, this is the map. The world map displays all the locations indicated by glowing pins currently available to Clive via fast travel. Okie doke. So, this is where we're going to be heading. The still wind. Um, there was a time not long ago that the songs of civilization echoed through still winds and knotted boughs. Now the settlements lie abandoned and the only sounds to escape this forsaken place are the howls of beasts that have fled the deadlands to make the bogs their home. Okay, so how do we, can we, basically, we're going to travel there, but we're also going to try and save it um i guess we've got to travel now we'll save it when we get there and we're going to draw close to this episode and we're going to continue with the still wind in the next episode Got to say, I'm loving the storytelling of this game so far. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports placed them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else. Lost in a fog. Timely accessories. Failing of. Overwhelmed, try equipping one or more of the five timely accessories. For example, the Ring of Timely Strikes allows its wearer to chain complex attack combos only using square. The Ring of Timely Focus slows time before an incoming attack, allowing for an extended evasion window. As with all items, timely accessories can be equipped and unequipped on the gear tab in the main menu. Okay, so where are we at here? Main menu attributes. The attributes tab provides a comprehensive overview of Clive's current level, status, abilities and gear. Okay, so we have got... So did we have some 
said we had some accessories, but it doesn't look like um, we can actually change anything here. Um, not that it matters, because what we are going to be doing is... How do we get to the next one? Right. Items. The items tab consists of lists of all non-gear items in possession, including those used in quests. Okay. Assigning shortcuts. Uh, for quick access during gameplay, select an item from the consumables list and press square to bring up the shortcut menu. After confirm the button it is assigned to and press X to confirm the decision. Okay, next. Oh. Journal. The journal tab contains information on main story progress as well as all current and completed side quests. We've got the map. Which is there. Gear and icons. So the gear and icons tab is used for equipping weapons and armor as well as assigning iconic abilities to available slots. So what did we have then? Alright, so... Ring of Timely Focus. Well, let's put that on. Um, if this is, when equipped, complex ability combinations can be executed by simply pressing square. Clive will automatically use a portion when his HP falls below a certain point. Well, I mean, we can just put some of these, some of these on just to make the game a little bit easier. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? So there's nothing to equip there. Abilities. Ability points can be spent in the abilities tab to acquire new abilities as well as upgrade existing ones. If you are unsatisfied with Clive's current build, reset all abilities and try again as there is no penalty for doing so. Ability details of each ability and feat can be viewed by selecting its icon. A sword indicates an ability's capacity for dealing damage and magic indicates an ability's for breaking a target's will. Okay, right, we'll check that out at a later time. So we are just going to save it now, and we're just going to stick it here. Um, overwrite save data, yes. Okay, so yeah, that is going to be it for this episode of Final Fantasy 16. I didn't really get to do an intro because um, it jumped straight into the action, and everything we've seen so far has been amazing. Um, it's a slow build-up story. It's given me Game of Thrones type of vibes, you know, that sort of medieval setting um, and the war and conflicts between nations. Um, it's obviously got the crystal element of the story and that is the driving force between the wars between the nations um, as it normally is um, when it comes to crystal storylines. Um, the crystal's going to have some sort of uh, major power. I'm guessing that the icons, um, the summons as you would put, it are going to be linked to that um yeah wow what a game so far i'm so glad that i got this and um, this will probably not publish until a couple of months after the game has initially released because there is other um games that we are publishing um every couple of days up until their completion um, and I don't really want to saturate the channel with too many things all at once so if you're watching this now and you're thinking, oh, well, I've seen all this before. Well, you know, that's cool too. But um, thank you for everybody who has watched to this point. Um, give me a like and a sub. And until next time, when we'll be continuing with our journey, that's it from me. And I will see you on the flip side.